Hi YouTube and welcome back. In today's daily market analysis, you'll see me taking one trade and hitting targets one and holding this trade until it, you know, I don't know, it does what it needs to do. Hit my stop loss for break even or hit my targets too. So stay tuned and check out which trade was that. Good morning everybody. It's the February 25th and you're just watching the Forex market analysis. The video that I do each and every day. I go through my six pair portfolio and I analyze the market before I start trading. And when I get home from the office, I analyze it and check out did I get some kind of a trade today? How did I go? Did I get a, a loss or hit, I, hit my trades hit both targets and I update you with the results. That's what you got to do if you're planning to be a professional trader. You got to approach the markets consistently each and every day the same day. So the videos might be boring for you. But with that being said, let's dig straight into it. Okay, this is the six pair portfolio USD, CAD, Aussie, CAD, Aussie, USD, Euro, Dollar, Pound, Dollar, Pound, Yen. And we are about to go from the USD CAD. I'm only trading up. Uh, uh, let me see, bats and guardless on this pair with some additional conditions. And as you can see here on this pair currently, there is nothing that I can see and think of that looks like a guardly or a bat. Might be something like what? X to A, A to B, V to C, but that's way, way, way too big for me. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to even drag or draw any kind of patterns here because I don't see nothing. So let's move just straight ahead to Aussie CAD. What I'm expecting though from this pair is uh, to pull back a little bit and maybe move down here and then down here. We will see. This might be interesting because I am expecting something here and I think there will be a trade this week. Now we will see. Uh, what I see here is this. So. Tell me what pattern this is. Answer to yourself before I say. There is actually there are two patterns here. One would be X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D. However, this will be a Gartley pattern. I'm, I'm going to show you why. And this right here is a bad pattern. So I'm planning to trade this. If it meets my rules. So if this happens, I'm going to set myself an alarm. Up, oh, wrong alarm. There we go. That's the that's one pattern. The other one that I already checked, but I won't be able to trade it because it's currently is this one. This right there. It's touching the 61.8 and uh, this is currently pattern for me, so I won't be able to trade it. And just to make sure here in on a big screen, so the high of this candle is 239 and the, the 61.8 is uh, 94, 234. So we're over it and uh, we won't be able to trade it. So let's just move forward. That's it. That's everything I see on this pair and Aussie USD. Hoppa. I don't know. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. So far, nothing. So far, nothing. Things can happen, but so far, I don't see a thing here. Yeah. I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting. I don't see anything here that, that can spark my interest. Your dollar. Still waiting for a, a price action to pull down and, you know, to get me in the, into a possible bad pattern. I, I would be happy to get it it's very profitable profitable for me and your dollar but you never know you never know which leaves us uh with the maybe there is something else here as well let me just let me just do this no no it's not i got to Maybe it is, maybe it's a Gartley. X to A, it's no additional filters. Let's see, did the, did those candles here touch the, yeah, this one did, this one did. Okay, so no Gartley. 
no Gartley for me. Okay, so nothing. Let me just let me just check out one more thing though. Huh. If I were to drag it from here, then it might be gone. X to A, A to B, B to C, C to D completion. Let's just check this out. But I don't think I don't think this is this is actually not a good pattern. Yeah, I don't look. It's a good pattern. It really looks really really ugly, and uh, it's not something that I would probably take. I don't like this kind of an ugly patterns. I did see it, so in essence, maybe I need to take it. But uh, the thing is here that uh, it's not looking. The X to A leg is not that nice. Okay, the X to A leg is really, really bad. Actually, bad looking leg. So I probably would not be taking this pattern. Although, what is the risk to reward? Risk to reward might be good because it's a deep Gartley, and uh, yeah. We're risking 12 pips just so we will see but I'm not expecting to get engaged into this Gartley here we, we're gonna see what's gonna happen I just mind I, I have to go for this kind of a ugly patterns I'll have to go through my back testing results and back testing information data to see did I see these kind of patterns in the back testing results if I didn't see them then uh, I will just keep this pattern if I if I did mark some of them then I will definitely uh, get engaged into this pattern. So I'm just gonna leave myself uh, uh, alert here and then we will see what's gonna happen. Then we have pound dollar as well. Pound dollar, buh, 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 the X to A, maybe we have something forming up. Yeah, we are gonna have a Gartley pattern, but we are not supposed to trade Gartley, so nothing on this pair so far. Oh, besides, no. No, nothing. So, so far we can just have this like an impulse like and wait what, what's gonna happen and the pound yen appear that keeps winning for us. I don't see anything. Maybe this here would be an X leg. No, not even an X leg for us. So, let's see. Nope, nope, nope. So we are gonna look throughout the day what's gonna happen probably nothing on Monday but it takes time to for these patterns to form and I don't think that I think that the pound is gonna go up we're gonna see definitely but that that would be aligned with my uh, last week uh, prediction so we will definitely see with that being said thank you very much and uh, hope to see you in a few seconds in the afternoon session bye bye welcome back people so in today's afternoon session we actually have something to show for okay so it was not slow day in the market yes we did get just one trading opportunity that i got engaged with which is the one on euro dollar that i was that i said ah that i'm not sure am i gonna get in it or not but then i checked my back testing results by back testing uh, patterns and i i saw that i've been taking throughout my back testing this kind of a patterns here not the big one though I, i'll remove the big one okay not this one but this smaller one the uglier one not as clear one and uh it kind of paid off at, at the end of the day it kind of paid off if you can check it out here it did hit targets one and now we are waiting for it to hit targets too but the hard thing is we also were, were under a test of psychologically uh it was very very tough to hold when the price was here then rallied a little bit back up and then finally hit it two hours later and now we were we were actually ah, well i don't know we were like uh how much how many pips 17 pips up then we were all the way then we were up like 14 pips up and then we were up just three pips and then immediately price action came down and then rallied down rallied up and now we're trailing all the way up again and we were in one at one moment we were up 24 pips for targets too but that didn't hit we need like 30 pips for targets too and you know we are still waiting to see what's gonna happen with this price action i do hope it will go down and hit my targets too 
for now we are up on our live account uh, around what history of 14 euros which is not a lot but 14 euros on uh, 2000 euros uh, account is what uh, 0.75 percent so which is actually pretty decent for first three weeks of trading live first time trading live after I have backtested in my entire system so I'm kind of proud of myself uh, despite having this trade there was nothing else on the other pairs so I didn't get engaged in any of the trades there is something forming here but I'm if I'm not correct, if I'm not wrong, I'm not supposed to trade Gartley's here, and I think we have a big ass Gartley. Not the big ass, maybe not big ass in terms of risk, but looks big. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we do have a Gartley, potential Gartley, maybe not, maybe this uh, B2C leg. Yeah, this B2C leg might not be there. So it's not a Gartley, it's not bad, it's nothing basically but maybe there might be something within this or something you were trading there was a Gartley here today which was actually losing Gartley but I'm not supposed to trade Gartley's on Aussie CAD so yeah Aussie USD this is a daily time frame uh, hour one nothing here for me today so I, I wasn't even checking out setting up alarms or anything price is just moving up and I don't know what to expect in this pair, waiting for some kind of a signal, Euro dollar still in this trade, we will see what's gonna happen uh, probably tomorrow or when I go to sleep and then pound dollar, nothing here, I still predict for price action to go up, pound yen as well, nothing here, still waiting for some kind of a signal, some kind of a pattern, uh, Euro dollar maybe we can get uh, some kind of a what is it what is it let's check this out no it's just too ugly nothing because I backtested the cipher pattern so I can now trade ciphers as well but I don't see anything here that might be worth a while uh, but let me see this didn't touch 27 did it no yeah nothing nothing in terms of ciphers here for me so just waiting for this this price action to hit my targets too and so that I can finally be up how much let's see uh, over 1% 1 and one something percent which would make me obviously very happy because it's my first you know live trading month and uh, being up over 1% in the first month I think it's some kind of a small uh, you know small success in my journey in trading and I hope you like this kind of videos I hope you like to follow my journey I hope you like what I put out there and I hope you're getting a lot of benefit with it with that being said I will invite you one once to subscribe down below if you like it and hit that bell button so that you YouTube can notify you when I post this kind of videos and I want to thank you for watching and staying until the end of this video and for watching it so stay tuned because tomorrow I will definitely record a new one if there's gonna be some kind of an action in the market. With that being said, thanks again and speak to you soon. Bye-bye.